welcome back to my channel. My name is Kinsey. If you guys are new here, be sure to subscribe. But today I am taking you guys through a work day with me. I'm working from home. Obviously, I mean I work from home anyways. It is Monday morning at 9 a.m. I start work anywhere between like 9 and 10 30 a.m. typically. And I have like a whole morning routine, which I didn't really take you guys through this morning, but I can make a whole separate video for that if you guys would like an updated morning routine because anyways um, if you guys are new here subscribe but i am ready for the day i'm filming today as well which like you know that's the biggest reason as to why i would get ready i'm dressed up as like a country club mom guys also if you put on shoes i think you're just more productive anyways i'm gonna make some breakfast really quick and then i'm gonna head up to the office so far today i've taken the dogs on a walk i did my devo i worked out oh and then i got ready and now we're getting to work Chin -chin. oh my gosh guys who is loving folklore? It's like literally all I listen to. I'm about to blast it throughout the house as I make my coffee. Also, I don't know what I did there. So obviously I'm playing folklore. I just took my email. My graphic designer sent me back some really cute graphics for something I'm working on that's gonna come out early, early August. The most beautiful album to ever exist, guys. Guys, I got a Dyson vacuum. It has changed my life. It My coffee is done. Yes, I have an espresso, but if I'm just, I don't have any pods right now. I need to buy new ones. So comment down below your favorite pod. I want a black coffee this morning. This is not sponsored, but I love Vital Proteins. I've actually shared this collagen before so many times. If I ever have a breakout or anything and I put this in my coffee, literally the next day, it's completely cleared up. Nothing helps my skin more than the Vital Proteins Collagen Peptides. I will have it linked down below. They sent me some new stuff out to try just because I love Vital Proteins. But anyways, I'm going to try the Collagen Creamer. This is like a coconut creamer. I drink my coffee black pretty often, but I wanted to try this out just to see how I like it. And then I also really want to try these. So I want to be taking, I need to be taking spirulina. I'm not making smoothies as of right now. So I wanted to take it in a pill form. I really am interested to see if this works, the Vital Protein Skin Hydration Boost. So these are vitamins again. I kind of trust it just because Vital Proteins has been the best thing for my skin ever. My skin can get a little bit dry, so I'm excited to try this out. I'll let you guys know um, the progress and stuff that I make with this. But back to coffee. I also filled up my Hydro Flask. Actually, I'll probably, I'm gonna need to take the dogs out one more time and then I'm gonna go out to my office for like two hours. I have a new frother coming in, a hand frother, because I feel like I need that, but this actually does look pretty good. To take my vitamins, guys, it just feels like the perfect fall morning. I have Taylor Swift blasting. This is exactly the Taylor Swift vibe that I just love and adore. It was cooler out, it was a really beautiful walk this morning, and I'm very excited to get to work today. I love what I get to do as like my job, so thank you guys. Hi, it's Kenzie later on in the day, just popping in. I decided with this vlog that I wanted to share a lot and go into a lot of detail first off again for the billionth time I'm only able to do any of this because of you guys and I'm so 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 unbelievably grateful and I love you guys so much I do literally everything with you guys in mind so with that being said, I wanted to be really open about all the work stuff, how I'm making money. Obviously, we're in a pandemic. This is a really tough time for a lot of people, whether you're unemployed or you just have a lot more time on your hands or whatever. And I just wanted to share everything, everything that I've done, everything that I do. Maybe this is your time to follow your dreams or you just like watching these kind of videos or you just want to get ideas for totally different businesses, whatever. But I'm just going to be very open and transparent with you guys. There's something else I wanted to say, but I forgot. Hi guys, it is Kinsey from the future again while well, I'm editing this vlog. What I was going to say was that it took me like eight years to get here. It's not an overnight thing. Sometimes for like the 1% it is. But um, yeah, obviously I've been doing this for like eight years now. So while I'm sharing like what I'm doing and stuff, also just know that there were like eight years leading up to this, you know? I just took the dogs out, but this coffee honestly looks so gross with the stuff in it. I need a hand frother so it'll mix better, but um, that was kind of a fail. All right guys, so now is the time where I am off to my office. I love my office. <laughs> don't mind the paint job, haha. <laughs> so as you can see, I have a lock right on my desk right now, which I don't really love, so I'm gonna quickly tidy this up. All right, so the desk is definitely looking better. It's just a calendar that I need just out visually. I really messed it up. Here, I'm actually gonna try something different with this today and I'll see how I like it. I have essentially four main projects that I work on. My podcast, my YouTube channel, and then one that's like super in the works. One that's like not gonna be a thing for a while. And the other one that's coming out 
first week of August next week. So I want to section this off into four and then have like to-do lists for each one. I'm trying to figure out the best way to organize all this stuff. I'm going to try it and let you guys know how I like it. I do have a lot of good organizing hacks that I'll share with you guys today. And then I just got this TV mounted. The cord cover hasn't come in yet. Surprise, surprise. I'm just going to put folklore on. I know we're all probably shocked. Oh! Taylor Swift is already on. Because right, guys, we are business gals today in this vlog. I'm going to be sharing my different revenue streams, how I make money, um, and just kind of all of that, all the details. I get questions about this a lot, especially recently when people are like, I don't understand. And um, I just want to make it very clear. One, I'm so incredibly grateful for you guys. Seriously, like, this is my favorite thing in the entire world. I wake up every day and I'm excited because I like love what I get to do and I love like more, way more than anything, the relationships that I have with you guys. Like I know so many of your names, especially because we've been doing the Zoom Bible study and stuff. I just feel like I've gotten to know you guys so well and I just love you guys and I'm so grateful and I would not be in the position that I'm in or have this job or anything if it weren't for you guys. So I wanted to say thank you and um, I just love you guys. Also, um, in case any of you guys are interested or want to do this or just want to get ideas or just like hearing businessy stuff, I wanted to go through just my revenue streams and um, kind of share that with you guys. Um, if any of you guys are interested, I have a podcast episode that actually is going up today or it is already up with Emma Leger, who's like literally the queen of Instagram. And she teaches us everything about like how to gain a following, how to get an engaged following. She's a lot more in the business end that isn't like money and numbers. Like we're talking all about like building a brand and stuff so i would definitely go listen to that episode i'll have it linked down below something that has really really helped me has been diversifying my income because let's say if um one revenue stream isn't bringing in any money you're not just solely relying on one revenue stream you have like multiple multiple ways of making money i know i've kind of briefly mentioned just other things that i'm working on but i'm not going to be making money off of those things for a while so i'm just going to go on to what I'm currently making money off of. So I have my vlog channel or my YouTube channel, um, which is what you guys are watching right now. And this has been probably my main source of income since 17 years old, 16 years old. Is that what I'm, I don't really remember when I started making money. I do you make money off of YouTube? As like most of you guys know, there's so many different ways. So it takes a long time. And I know that everyone says this, but I really mean it. Like if you are in it for the money, I really don't think it's gonna work out for you. So with YouTube, there's AdSense. So you make money off of views, which used to not be a ton of money unless you got like millions and millions of views a month. But now that you're able to add in multiple ads over videos, now it's only eight minutes long. You can add in multiple ads. It is more money, but I would say the bulk of what I would make off of YouTube would be brand deals. So let's say like, Buffy or Casper or HelloFresh or whatever comes and like, hey, Kenzie, we want to pay you X amount for this video. It's like a 60 second mention at this part of the video. You have talking points and then you would agree to it. And then that would be like kind of the bulk of it. Instagram is the same. You can also do deals on Instagram. So you would have like an in-feed static post, stories, or IGTV. You can just do a lot of different branding content. And then obviously there's things like merch. You can come out with products. I have merch <laughs> linked below. So that is another way that you could make money. There's also commission links, which you get a very small percentage off of what you sell. Honestly, what I really like commission links for as a creator is seeing how much of what I sell. I like being able to see my stats. If I'm looking to come out with a product, I would then go back to my um, commission links, whether it's reward style or magic links or whatever you use. And then I would see what is the most popular thing that I sell. Like I sell a lot of like athleisure wear. Just having those stats handy are really great. And it is money. It's like, you know. But I really like commission links more than anything for kind of just tracking what's happening. And then I have my podcast. A lot of people ask questions about like, do I pay guests? Do you guys pay me? Whatever. Like that doesn't happen. Like guests just come on. It's, it's kind of like a win-win for both the guest and the podcast host. I have had offers for people to pay to come on my show. I've actually accepted one recently because I really, really liked them. So essentially this is a dedicated episode. So I'm not gonna be selling any other ad spots on this episode. I'm just gonna be doing an interview with them. You guys are actually gonna love this episode. 
But basically, the reason that they're paying is because it's a dedicated episode, so they're buying me out of other ads. If I don't feel like it's a good fit for the show, I'm just not gonna do it. And then you also have ads in each podcast, right? So actually, I would say there's probably a little bit more money to be made in a podcast. It kind of depends. You can do up to four ads per episode, and in a YouTube video, you can only do one. So in between the episode, I'm sure you guys, if you ever listen to a podcast, you would hear like a 60 second ad placement. So I would say that's kind of the bulk of it is just having different revenue streams. So I have like YouTube AdSense, YouTube deals, Instagram deals, podcast deals, merch, commission links. That's pretty much it when I'm just talking about like in the influencer space. But again, diversifying my income has been like a really big thing. And Okay, so I am going to answer some emails. It's the first thing I'm doing today. So like I said before, I have some graphics back for something I'm working on, which I'm really excited for. Um, I have the best graphic designer legit ever, Kelsey, I love you. Yeah, I'm really excited for that, and I'm just going to put on folklore. Even go through this and make a maybe a to-do list. I always, always, always make a to-do list, and I use my Google Calendar, and I plan out my day before, um, the night before anyways. But I kind of want to just try a new process. All right, guys, I'm looking over some stuff that I'm filming later. Um, I did do this. I do like it, but I won't be able to tell you. I mean, it's nothing crazy at all, but I won't be able to tell you, obviously, how I liked it until probably using it for a week or so. Honestly, I do feel like it does help to kind of just have everything laid out in front of me on my desk and just like a nice to-do list. And then I'm just going over some of this stuff. Um, also, I wanted to show you guys this app that um, Emma Leger told me about on my podcast. I've always used that Unum or Unum or UNUM um, app to plan my Instagram feed, but this one is so much better, especially if you have like any sort of like small business. I'm going to switch to my podcast Instagram because that one is definitely more planned out. This is called Planoli, by the way, and I pay $20 a month for it guys. I know it's so stupid, but I have my Instagram completely planned out with captions and it's ready to schedule I don't even have to post it just posts for me for two like business things that I'm running which makes my life so much easier It is worth it, especially with how organized I feel. And I also have like the podcast promo and all that stuff So so it's really 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 helpful so you can see all and then scheduled and then unscheduled I haven't scheduled this one because I don't know when the Tina Marie Clark podcast episode's going up and then I love that photo. You can also like schedule a carousel post. So like, here we go. And this is the second one for my episode with the boys for boy advice. And then I had the caption already and then it's scheduled at this time. So here's showing, I guess, all the podcast or all the posts that I'd already made. But on here, as you guys can see, I have like the next two-ish weeks planned basically. And it is so nice. Also, you can just click and it'll tell you what you are posting. For example, today we're posting this thing and then a folklore post. We're posting, I guess, two tomorrow as well. But I'm just really, really, really excited for this, guys. Like, you can also do stories, which I haven't done. It also gives you, like, stats and stuff. But yeah, anyways, this has really helped me for organization and just having things kind of streamlined and just already running. It sounds so stupid because like posting an Instagram picture is so quick, but when you're posting for like four or five accounts and you have to like take time out of something that you were already doing to go do it, it's annoying, but it also like sidetracks you and I feel like it slows me down. So I love this app. I literally texted Keaton this morning and I was like, you have to get it if you don't have it already. I'm truly just in the best mood right now because I'm playing Taylor Swift. I've decided it's fall in my house because why not? Q just dropped off some Starbucks for me in Angel because he has my car right now. So I got a Vinti Ice Dirty Chai. I used to get this in high school. When I first started making YouTube videos, this is what I would always get. And then I'd also always listen to Taylor Swift. And so I'm just feeling very nostalgic right now. We got some egg white egg bites and then a perfect bar. This is like, I guess my lunch, which is not a good lunch. I'll just do like this and then a snack later or something. And then obviously like throughout the day, I want to be like posting stories and all that stuff. I wanted to also shout out some small businesses that you guys have. Um, also update from my last week of my life vlog when I was like, oh my gosh, I cannot remember the name of this brand. It's actually local threads and it had a super cute like pink crew neck, which I really like. This actually bracelet that I'm wearing right now, Beaded by Yaz, I absolutely love. Obviously Killa Dyes is like a really big thing. I feel like she's freaking blown up over quarantine. Also, Miss Hannah Ashton has a digital planner out as well now. She has her Dream Achieve notebooks, but she also made a digital version of it, which I actually recently picked up and I love it. It's super cute. I'm like off the top of my head thinking of businesses a shout out. 
Oh, the Coop New York City. So the Coop are these really cute candles. Mine are actually on the way. I'm so excited. I'm actually having the founder on the podcast as well. It's also like a black owned business, really great. But yeah, just some of my top fave businesses at the moment. Oh my gosh, guys, you know what podcast I'm like back on and loving? Um, How We Built This with Guy Raz. First off, okay. I texted my friend the other night and I was like, I just feel like if I knew what Guy Raz looks like, it would like ruin it for me. But there's just something not right about knowing what Guy Raz looks like. He has to be this perfect, almost angelic. I don't know, I was just like, no way. And then of course, what do I do? Look up what he looks like. It didn't ruin anything for me, love him, but so I'm I'm probably going to put some music back on, go over my notes again for the podcast just to prep a little bit. Okay, so I don't outline like too, too much, honestly. It really just depends. I'll normally have like three bolded things for different subjects. In this case, I have four. She is the founder of the Shifter Method, which I think is gonna be really good for this time especially. Yeah, this is pretty much all I do. And then I'll set it up on my iPad right here and then I'll put this up and then I go on Zoom and then I record on Zoom and then I also record on my Zoom recorder and then I send it to my editor. Okay, so I just made this video, or I made this actually this morning, a little bit earlier when I was working, to promo. Isn't this cute, guys? We love. Uh, the, the color looks so off, but it's on my Instagram if you guys actually want to see the full video. Alright, I am back, about to record. My Zoom call starts in like a minute, but I have everything set up, and I'm going to record. Like, yeah, that is it's actually incredible. You actually, I, I have... Now that we're speaking about it, I need to show you. Oh, yes, um, please do. Let's see this guy. Where I will be posting these now? visuals on the Instagram, guys, for all of you to see. I actually yes. cannot wait for this. So it's like oh, my gosh. It little... is so perfect. I just finished recording. Um, I feel great about that episode. We're back in the same spot that we've been in, okay? I'm still drinking my drink. Sorry, my laptop was making noise. It's downloading my Zoom clips. What happened to my sweater? All right, guys, so I feel like I need to do some sort of spray on my face. You know when your makeup just gets like stagnant throughout the day? Comment down below your tips. But I feel so good about that episode. Tina is incredible. Also, if you're someone like me who's like self-growth and healing and just, I don't know, if you have been dealing with a lot of like feelings of being overwhelmed or anxiety or anything like that, it's definitely an episode for you guys. So that one will be up, I think, next week. You guys need to follow our Instagram. I keep you guys posted all the time on there, but just subscribe to the podcast if you haven't already. It is currently 1.35. Q is coming over at three and we're gonna start working on some other stuff because he's kind of helping me with this new thing. But um, before then, I'm gonna record the intro for today's episode. I'm gonna record the intro for this week's episode, send over all those details. I'm actually gonna start filming before he gets here for the new stuff. I'm so excited, but I just love days like this when I'm just like happy to be alive and I'm like so excited for what I'm doing and I'm just like so excited because I love you guys. I all right guys, so I'm importing all my footage. I, this is how I have my, I don't even know what those random files are. Um, yeah, so my desktop is not the cleanest and honestly, it's normally messier than this guys getting footage from audio files can be an absolute nightmare So I always just make sure that I'm kind of good to go. I just recorded the intro for um, The next two podcast episodes because one of them is gonna be a bonus So I don't need to have like a real-time one um, But I'm gonna go ahead and import that just to make sure it's all organized. That's like my number one tip with audio I'm gonna kind of block this out, but this is a sheet that my network has that has all my ad reads and all of that. I don't know if anything is important on here. This is an old, this is from 2019 anyways, so it's from like over a year ago. But if I have ads that day, which I normally do, I'll just click that and then read my ad read. Okay, so next I'm going to go to my Dropbox that I send to my editor. So a lot of people were asking on my Instagram, it's a response to my Instagram story. I don't have an editor for YouTube. I like editing my own videos, but I do have an editor for my podcast and I've always had one because I am with a network and it has been the biggest game changer. All right, guys. So I just found this filming corner in my room and I actually really like it. So I might use it for normal videos, but for right now, I'm gonna film two little devotion things for the new thing. So I'm excited about that. I'm gonna go ahead and film these and get some stuff done before Q gets here in like 45 minutes. So Life hack, life trick. 
<laughs> I'm wearing the same clothes. I just put that on over to make it look like I changed. I just recorded two quick videos, which I mean by quick, I wasn't quick, but I hope that those were good. I'm actually gonna edit those because Q has to record some stuff. It's 310, I should honestly probably make lunch. broccoli and then I was gonna make salmon and then I realized the salmon was bad so here we are and then I ate white cheddar Cheez-Its as I was waiting and watching the morning toast and now we're here. Yeah the salmon's bad because you made me order all those chipotles on DoorDash instead of eating the salmon that all the food that I grocery shop to cook for you. Anyways guys. I guess that means we'll have to order chipotle. No we're not doing that. Since right. it is already late today and now he's disrupting my filming. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm sorry I was out exterminating all the ants outside that were trying to make their way into Eat all of your bad salmon and cheeses. So I got a package from Cynthia Rally, which is very exciting. They gave me something to wear on my birthday. I'm just doing a little small dinner party thing with fam. Look at how cute. This is so housewife vibes, guys. So I don't know when I started dressing very sophisticated. I say that once. Um, I love this. I also have another dress that I'm in between. I might wear both of them, who knows? But this is super cute. I'll link it down below. The dress that I wore on Q's birthday for like his surprise thing. Um, was also Cynthia Rally, and that was like just the best thing ever. I love that. Also, this mask seems like genuinely the best mask I've ever received. If you guys are looking for a cute one, I'll have it linked down below, and it says Rally. Okay, are you ready? Do you want to film your videos? I already filmed mine. Mm -hmm. So do you want to film right now? Yeah. People are going to think we're doing like a couple's channel. We're not. I don't um, know why I said it with that attitude. We're not. Yeah, I just need to figure out what I'm doing. I want us, it's a telemarketer. I also... For the, I know what I'm doing for the main, for the second video though. I just want to decide the topic and then it'll be super easy, like what verse I want to do. So Q and I just recorded a podcast episode of us two for the living room. I'm saying that because I realize I will have posted on Instagram by the time this goes up. Very exciting. Oh my gosh, Liz. Liz sent me a video of her mom with the slippers and was like, look, I got Kinsey shoes. <laughs> Do you know what's so incredible? Going on Instagram and seeing that stuff from I Love You So Much already posted and I didn't have to do it because of Planelli. Okay? It's incredible. All right, guys, so it is 6 p.m. and I am done with work for the day. Today was very productive. I got a lot of stuff done. Some days are not this productive. Some days are more. It just depends. Obviously, working for yourself and doing what I do, like it's not a set routine every single day. But I feel really good about everything that I got done, which is always the best feeling. And I'm just gonna relax tonight. I just been like working on my computer and just like on a screen for so long and filming that I just wanna like sit down, relax, chill out. So I hope you guys enjoyed this work day in my life vlog. I'll be answering questions in the comments down below. Any like specific questions about what I use, equipment, all of that stuff. If you guys are interested in equipment, actually, Amazon.com slash shop slash Kinsey Elizabeth, there's a whole equipment tab where I just tell you guys like everything that I use. But anyways, I'm so tired, so I'm probably gonna go to the rooftop and just relax. Love you guys so much, and I'll see you soon.